Merry Christmas, showing off cool Christmas decor, Elsa, and basically the intro for part one of our What We Got For Christmas unboxing, spectacular. So enjoy this, enjoy some pretty music, and uh, let's open up all this weeb shit. Yeah. Ho ho ho, Taku J. Custom little baking Elsa. Yep. Oh, naughty stuff. Sexy wife figures. Oh, and let's uh, have some eggnog, old cool Batman forever cup. Let's drink some eggnog to the video. Cheers. Neat manga series. I wish they'd make it uh, seem as interesting. Today's Cerberus. Always neat. Half price books had it super cheap, so. Buddy of mine. Finally got the first volume to look at. For Christmas. For Christmas. And then I also treat him to a gift of Season 1, Volume 1 for $7.99. I was like, that's pretty cheap for a whole bunch of. He man, I've been looking into it, watching a little bit more, and can't argue with it. Eight bucks for what? 33 episodes? He looks pretty neat. Plus, we're gonna zoom in on that, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna zoom in on that. Look at that ass. She's got an ass. Look at that. Mm. Bubbly around, right in the crack there. You'd just be like, anyway. So, yes. <laughs> as long as we get all the discs. Looks like it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, geez. Plus then it also came with this, which I thought was kind of neat. You know, the typical little pamphlets that are inside. I guess telling you all the episodes. And then came these little art. 3 of 16 and 4 of 16. These are pretty neat. Nice art there, that's pretty cool. So, for eight, for, for eight bucks, I'm like, why not? It'll probably get us a watch more than just a few random episodes of it on there. Again, ooh. Oh, yeah. He man, I have the power. <laughs> what? Yeah, we gotta get loot here again, my guys. It's me, after all. Like I said, we got more Christmas gifts to open up. Here. This one was for a buddy of mine. I got this a couple Christmases ago. He saw it, at, so it's like had to get that as well. It's a pop-up book for Frozen, and it's really nice, really good art and detail in there. And I saw like uh, unboxing of it, so that's why I got it as like the last minute Christmas thing. He got one too. It's nice. It's got nice glitter all over it, and you know we all love Elsa here. The only thing I could ever stand is Elsa, so I could show up, but it's his. So. It's really neat. Go check it out if you want to see more of that awesome Elsa-ness. An awesome pop. It's, it's very cool and the art is beautiful in it. I honestly don't even know what this could be. It's manga. More manga to show off. I've been very interested in these series for a while. So, Kaiju Girl Karamalise. It just seemed very interesting. I had to get it. I mean, one, I love Godzilla, so I like the Kaiju stuff. And, again... I, love, I like Kaiju Godzilla. I love cute anime girls. Put them together, you get yourself what should be a very interesting manga. Again, the art's really nice on this. Very good. I, I've never been disappointed with manga. That's why I don't get with like these people in the West telling people, like, this is, like, learn to draw, and it's like, you can't draw this. Don't give me that. <laughs> this ain't your terrible uh, Calar typical style that you guys always have. This is, this is actually good stuff. Oh, cute. <laughs> so it's like a little love story. Suffering from a rare and curable illness that causes frightening changes to her body. Yeah. <laughs> Loner Ku Kuroe Akaishi spends her high school days avoiding her classmates, especially class idol Arata Minami and his groupies. But when Arata starts making her heart skip a beat with irritating regularity, <laughs> Kuroe discovers that her illness actually has a big, make that monster secret. Romance turns her into Lovezilla, literally. So that's my, I'm like, that's kind of cool. So, had to get that. And then I'm a super big fan of, uh, obviously, you know, Kobayashi. And I love all the characters. We just need Lukua to get her own thing. I think she's getting a spinoff. Oh, look how cute she is. But... Kana's Day Life, adorable, and I already know about that, but I haven't 
been looking forward to like, oh, she has one too, Elma? She is Elma, hear her roar. Oh, I like to make her roar. You know, her belly, how she likes to eat so much. Look how thick and cute she is. Oh yeah, look at that cute thing. Look at her just sitting there at the office eating. Oh, she's so sexy. So it's kind of cool. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Elma's Office Lady Diary. So I'm like, that's so cool. So I figured I'd at least get one. I mean, look how cute she is. And look how big her boobs are. She's thick and she likes to eat. So I just think it's cute. <laughs> Get to enjoy more of the dragons, our little dragon maids. Ooh, very sexy. That's a little too sexy. I don't know how I can handle this one. That's very cheeky. That is that is extremely cheeky. I like that. I I that is I mean, again, right in there. That's some good stuff. She's got a good butt. So yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Looking forward to that, and finally got me another volume of... What? Are those fries? Why, well, yes. Plus size elf. This series is great. When are they gonna make this into an anime? You know how naughty it's gonna be. But it won't be as naughty as like this, sadly. I'm, I'm slapping her cute fat belly. I mean, come on, that's some good stuff. How can you not like it? Good style, it's cute. I mean, look how... Oh, so much thick girls and like... You know, big girls, uh, girls of all sizes and shapes. Different types of monsters, girls, elves and all that stuff there. It's very nice. Whoop, can't show that one. It's very nice. Look at that butt. <laughs> Again, I'm telling you. Just the apron, back boobs, jiggle jiggle. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can only... Oh, bare assed. <laughs> I love it. She looks cute with her hair down. Oh, yeah. So, this is a good series. Anyone liking and enjoying this, this definitely needs to be a nice little manga series. This definitely needs to be a nice little anime series. I mean, that is awesome. <laughs> it's covered, so it's fine. I like how her head's down there. Look at that belly. Don't you just want to squeeze it? <laughs> Give us the uh, anime people. So yeah, some more manga. And there's plenty of manga. There's a lot of manga and figures to look forward to in this Christmas haul. That's not all we get. Get some more manga here. Warning. Parental advisory. Explicit content. Oh, I had to get it. Monster girls and wrestling, so you can't go wrong with it. Monster wrestling! <laughs> Interspecies combat girls. Volume 1. I've seen some stuff. The art design's very interesting, very unique. Kind of looking and... Uh, they got big boobs and everything like that. It's sexy stuff. Monster Girls Wrestling. Also got volume two. <laughs> Proud of warning. Explicit content. Hey, there's some nice stuff. Look at the slime one down there. One eyed slime one. Hey, look at the tits on those. Look at the butt. You got butts and tits. You know, the West girls, uh, the West are just jealous of them. Obviously, you can tell. It's just how they always are. And it's sad. More for us. Look what Santa got us. Yay. More. This one was. I took pictures to show off how there's the feminine. Feminist, not, uh, feminist, <clears throat> feminist monopoly, the Miss Monopoly, and those things <laughs> aren't, like, it, it's disgusting. Like, I've been to many stores during Christmas and, like, even after. I mean, they're just, like, they can't even find enough room on the shelves so this. No one's buying Miss Monopoly. These have been, like, sold for the longest time. Because this isn't even the socialist one. This is the one that was before that one that caused the controversy. So, this is the last one I've ever seen. It was like marked down because it's like a year, a year old, and it's dented on the box, sadly. But I'm like, I can't. You couldn't find this anywhere. They're selling it for a lot on line, so this was super cheap for their price. It was like half off the regular price of it. So Monopoly for millennials. I had to get it because this is the one that really pissed off. And this thing is so damn true. Don't tell me this stuff isn't true. <laughs> This is so damn true. That's why everyone got so butthurt with it, because truth hurts, doesn't it? And I had to get this, and I might do an unboxing and show it off and play it with some buds. We'll see what happens. You know, Monopoly sucks, but Monopoly for Millennials, just to trigger all those lame Millennials that just get upset by the truth. This is, I had to get it just for the salt. Sis, we got stuff last year for it. And if you saw our stuff from last year, you would know we got this. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Advent Calendar! The 2019 one. This year it's Karibo themed! Wink! Christmas Karibo themed! So we get one new card in here. It's the new one, the Performa Pal uh, Karibo something. But look at that. That is definitely festive. It looks like a Christmas tree. He's all ready for Christmas. That is awesome. Perfect for Christmas. And everyone loves Karibo. So it's all Karibo themed stuff. And, uh,. Later on, I could do, like, an unboxing separate video for it, but for now, this is it. And each day, you get a nice new card. So, yeah. 
<laughs> no, I couldn't pass this up. The Bubble Tea gift set. See back for the get the party starts. I got the cute little anime face. So it's a little thing for Bubble Tea. And you got three pack Bulba Milk Tea. Topia Topiaka. Tapioca Pearls. Topiaka! Glass. Stainless Steel Wide Mouth Straw. So it was cute. It's it screams, you know, like Bulba Tea is awesome. You know, Bulba is awesome. Bulba Tea is great. So that seems like a cute Merry Christmas type of neat little gift to have gotten. Ain't that right? That's right. Uh, I guess let's open it. Cause I'm kind of scared what that sound is. Hopefully it's the straw. <laughs> Look how cute she is. I'm gonna... I'm gonna let go and then her, you know, it's gonna fall. Be, uh, be gentle with me, Jay. Be gentle. <laughs> yep, that's what we get inside. Interesting. There's all the tapioca pearls. <laughs> they smell like poop. That's a. That was. Yeah, that's what that sound was. I figured it was a straw, but dang, that's a good straw. It's not the last straw, though. And then, yep, there's the bowl of milk tea. I guess I'll keep her in here. But that's what she'll look like when she's all full of those beautiful, big, chewy balls. Oh, Jay. Yeah, I drink her and, you know, eat her balls. Oh, you. <laughs> so it's very cute. Couldn't pass that up. Even see the little card. See the little head. A little bit of one. And Panzo. <laughs> Hi. I'm Jenny. I liked this show as a kid. Loved this show back in the day. Finally had to get it. I'll show my buds. You know, some of that stuff there too. My life has a teenage robot. Season one. There it is. Season one. Teenage robot. Hi, I'm Jenny. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty cool. That's not all I got for a show. Very excited for this one. It only took me seven years to finally start watching it. That's right. Gravity Falls. Ooh. Ah. Yep, the complete series. <laughs> Wish I could have gotten Blu-ray, but sister got this for me, so it's good enough. Didn't want to spend twice as much for the Blu-ray. Uh, I can always double dip, or double dipper later. <laughs> but this is one of those ones where I've heard about it and talk about it, but then I've had more and more reviews of it, and kind of like how there's like the connection, mysteries, and stuff that I thought was very interesting. And I'm still sad it's only 40 episodes long, and I'm already half, I've am already i watched 20 of them, so so I'm like, eh, might as well get the watch the rest of it and go there. She's awesome. Totally, you know, totally like, you know, lucky, lucky, lucky bastard. I mean... She, she's sexy. <laughs> but it's funny. I like the bond between the two siblings. I like all the characters. They're all great. And it's it's a unique thing. The opening's catchy. Dun, 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 dun. Very cool. And I'm looking forward to... Uh, I've already been kind of spoiled by it anyway. But the finale. Oh, it's kind of cool. And I've been really into this. It took me, again, seven years to finally watch this. And I'm glad I finally did. Because it's... I really like it. And it's one of the better Western Americanized animations that come out of the decade, the 2010s. So there you go. This is one of the ones I would put on the list of non-anime animation that I like. That would be counted as the best. Maybe I'll do a video on this or talk about how I feel about Gravity Falls. 70 years later, it took me to watch it, but to start watching it. But it's my seal of approval. Very nice. Love the show very much. And I'm, but I am glad that it has just a story to tell and they don't like drag it on. It's just 40 episodes. They said it's all they wanted and to tell a story and that'll do it. <laughs> great, great show. I'm very happy to get this. Thank you so much. Very very happy to have gotten this. Look at that, look at that, pushing her boobies out. And all of a sudden, her cute little round head. So beautiful, those pretty eyes. And she's like, hey, look at my cute round head. And push out my, mm, my boobies on my face, because I'm cute and sexy. Hi there. Look at those boobers. They feel so nice. And look at the little pants. Here. There's her butt. This is just some cool little Christmassy plates we got there. Oh, trees, a windale. A little hula snow girl watching over it. Yeah, look how look at look at look how look how naughty she is. And then here's some Pokemon World Championship decks I get all the time. That way, me and my buddy can play them. Look at her snow boobies. Hee <laughs> hee. Whoop. She called me. That's how I am right now. <laughs> yep. There's the decks. Look what Santa delivered with these little cuties. Mailman Pikachu flying on Charizard Pikachu. I think they're just so cute. Shame I had to cut through them and rip them in order to open it. Look how cute they are. We got Poké Surprises inside. More Christmas stuff. A buddy of mine. Good old thing there from Halloween. It's Pikachu dressed up as Mimikyu for Halloween. 
And he's got a cute little gargoyle, gargoyle, Gengar stitched Halloween uh, gift goodie basket. It's got little candies inside there. I like the detail of that. You can even see, you know, you can see the candies inside there. A little sucker and lollipop from the Pokemon Center. <laughs> and I got Jinx. Look at her shaking those boobs. Shake, shake, shake. Shake those Jinx titties up. You look up a skirt. <laughs> and four nipples to play with. Miltank. Thick, thick, thick. We'll have fun with these later in pre uh, later videos. <laughs> Ain't that right, you guys? Oh, they know it, Jay. Forgot, we also have another yu thing to show off. The Dual Devastator box with the alternate art for all the cute little lolly hand trap girls. That's the newer one we get. That's probably my favorite, the Ghost Bell. It's just beautiful artwork. And again, all the artwork for these girls are beautiful. That one's also really nice for the little princess one with their little dog, the dogwood. Ooh, she turned into a grumpus in this art version. <laughs> this is some good stuff. And then you're supposed to get, you know, inside. I mean, you've probably seen this. This is a couple months old already. You get, you know, a storage thing, and you get all these good cards. And then you get, you know, the sixth of these little lolly girls. And then you get those little card divider things. What do you call it? The little field things. I mean, it's a big box for like nothing in it. <laughs> we already know what's in there, so you've already seen the art, so I don't feel like opening it up because I'm sure there's other unboxing videos. So this is meant for Chris, but pretty cool. And uh, we can open up to see who we got out of these characters, though. And I'm already happy enough already I got Settle Kaiba. He's the greatest. So let's see. Kaiba! Yugi. Hey, man. What about me? <laughs> so these are the field centers. You're supposed to get four of them. And we got Settle Kaiba, so I'm happy. Oh, nice. I didn't know you get one of the girls, too. Hey, and Yugi. All right, we're going to rival. Oh, if only we got Mai or Ashizu. Get some waifu ones on there. But we got these little cuties, so that's cute. Show them off up close. Nice with the gold, and Settle Kaiba himself. So that's pretty neat. The artwork on these are really nice. Show them off one last time. Nice. Beautiful. So there's that. That's the Yu-Gi-Oh portion and the Pokemon portion. Yeah, you like them for buddy. <laughs> yeah, we got our nice little tree there. Yeah, a few more gifts underneath the tree. You were nice, nice gifts. <laughs> yeah, it was a very good Christmas there, Jay. Yeah. Ladies, Elsa, what you doing later? Get ready to pop your cork there, fellas.